Okay, this is the FM kit uh, 50 milliwatt beacon that's available from fmtv.us. As you can see, it's a really tiny little uh, unit, and here I've just got a, a little one cell 138 milliamp hour battery that I bought from Hobby King for about a dollar. And this is a, a little hobby radio. It's a, a Benetone MR200 little PMR radio. And that's what we're going to use for tracking the model. Just so you have an idea of the size, here's an AA battery. And you can see it's a really tiny unit. I mean, in total, it, it probably weighs, with the battery, less than 5 grams. So, I'm going to go through uh, programming uh, this beacon because uh, some people have difficulty understanding uh, the instructions that are on the website. So, if you've ever programmed an ESC before, it's very similar. And all we're going to do is just going to connect the battery up. Make sure you get the polarity right. And there we have a, a light. And that's it transmitting away already, probably. This is straight out of the packet, and I, I haven't programmed it yet. So, because I've got a, a PMR radio, I'm going to set it up for beacon mode, and I'm going to set it up for PMR channel 4 or channel 5, we'll, we'll see. So, to program the uh, the beacon, it's just this little button here. And all we do is work out how many uh, clicks you need to do for the program you want to set. So, first of all I'm going to set it up for PMR mode. So that's four clicks, followed by two clicks and then we leave it for four seconds. So we do one, two, three, four, one second gap, one, two. That should be PMR mode set now. Now after four seconds that's it set. The next thing I want to set up is uh, I want it to uh, be set up for beacon mode and beacon mode is five clicks followed by one click with a one second gap in between the five, first five clicks and the one click and then a four second gap to program it. So if we look here, one, two, three, four, five, one second gap, one. So that should be beacon mode set. <coughs> the next mode I'm going to try setting is I want to choose the actual uh, channel number and the way we do that is we choose, just have to look at the computer. Okay, sorry about that, I had to have a quick look at the computer to see what I was programming. Uh, for programming the, the channels, um, for this particular radio, the, the channels don't quite map correctly, so channel, when this is programmed, the beacon is programmed to channel 4, the radio is actually channel 5. So I'm going to actually program the beacon for channel 4 on the beacon which will equate to channel 5 on my radio. So to do that it's a menu function 3 followed by 4 clicks. So to do that we do simply do 3 clicks 3, two, three 4 clicks wait 4 seconds the light will come on and that tells you it's stored and the beacon will start transmitting And that's it transmitting away. If I now turn the radio on to channel 5, we'll probably hear it going. I don't know if you can see there, there's channel 5 selected. And we're hearing the three tones. And these are... Uh, every four seconds and then you can set the decay using uh, mode 2 and that can uh, change it so that it goes to every 22 seconds after five hours and so on so if your battery is getting weaker then you can set it so that it doesn't transmit quite so often I'll just turn the radio off because that's a bit annoying so the way we use that then is you hear the first, you hear the three tones, 
and you'll only hear those if you're really close to, to the beacon. The further away you get, you'll hear just the first tone, and then as you get a bit closer, you'll hear the, the first and the second tone, and then when you're really close to the beacon, you know, probably less than 50 meters, in the tens of meters anyway, you'll, you'll hear only that third high-pitched tone, um, and that tells you that your, your aircraft is close by.